Okay, mm. ready. Here we go. Should I close my eyes? All right, I'm gonna close my eyes actually. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you. Come on now. Taper week. Taper week. Oh, if you could only see my current tripod situation. Maybe I'll take a picture and put it on the screen right now. There you go. Nothing like a little cane sugar for your morning tripod. Oh, you gotta be, you gotta be resourceful in this world. You know what I mean, everybody? All right, here is the deal. It's taper week, and it's so fascinating to see the difference, to experience the difference, and I know you've gone through this, between a peak race taper week and then a tune-up race week, like I did, you know, two weeks ago leading into the Naples 10K, uh, it's, a, it's a mental shift, it's a physical shift, where you just start to feel the legs coming around a little bit. I actually, last night on date night, True Love asked me, uh, when do you think the legs will start to feel better in the taper? And I told her Thursday, actually when you're watching this, I think thir tomorrow will be the first day where the legs really start to say, okay, we're starting to get there. And then you get two more bonus days for me, Friday, Saturday before the race on Sunday. So it's just, it's a, it blows my mind every time. We go through a taper, okay, oatmeal. Well, at some point we'd have to. Not right now. No, I thought about that. Mmm. I know. And before I forget and head out on my three mile easy run with some strides at the end, DGR Race Crew, critical message for you under the community tab, okay? I think it's just above me if you're watching right on YouTube. Okay, click on that community tab and then there's a message waiting for you all about how to message me. All right, DJR Race Crew, boom. All right, we are off and then oh, it's a busy day. Meetings, all sorts of stuff. Let's go. And we are off. Man, I thought, I thought puffy jacket season was over, but it's never over in Colorado. It can always be cold here. So, bye Michael. Oh, precious, okay. Here's the deal, peak race means podcasting time. If you have a podcast, down below in the description, I'm only gonna do probably like five interviews the week after the Toledo Half Marathon. I think I did about a dozen after the Naples Half Marathon, and it's a lot, you know, just coordinating schedules. So anyway, the link to sign up for a podcast interview is down below. If you have a podcast, you want it, so it's gonna fill up quick, down below in the description. Um, it's, I think it's like May 7th through the 12th, roughly. So looking forward to it, looking forward to sharing my story. It was a lot of fun last time around. Again, I think I did at least a dozen interviews. I think I just gotta, I gotta watch how much I uh, commit to them, just with time, you know, pulling off the daily, the daily blog. All right, here we go, here we go, do si -do. here we go, do si -do. Meeting time, see you in about one hour. And we're back. Oh man, it doesn't always make sense to bring a camera to a meeting. You know what I mean? It's uh, First of all, you're just sitting there talking, but uh, that was a great meeting, all about DGR, future projects, future ideas, to help bring you more 
value here on YouTube. So good stuff. Okay, one more, um, one more meeting. And but on the way, I think I'm going to be arriving a little early. So I think I'm going to have a little time to open up some of these packages. However, I realized the package, the mystery box, is in the studio right now. I thought I had brought it, but I don't think it is in the back of the car. I will double check that once we get to this spot. Let's go. People dressed in purple walk into the Rockies game. Oh, it's so good to see, even though it's freezing out, but it's just, man, I don't, I think the capacity at the Coors Field right now is, I think it's about 40%, which is just better than nothing. Man, go Rockies. Go, go Rockies. We've got a few minutes here before I hop into Union Station for meeting number two. Figured, let's use the time while we got it. Open some packages. Thank you for always sending some items to the P.O. Box. And this feels very, and again, the mystery, it's not in the back. I double checked, so I will open that up tonight. Back of the house, this is coming from, ooh, hard to read the name, but it looks like from Florida. Okay, let's see. One, two, three. Oh my, my, it is a book. Look at that, oh my goodness, Colorado's highest. Can you see that? That is awesome. The history of naming, are you kidding me? The history of naming the 14,000 foot peaks. Are you kidding me? So I studied history in college. I thought I was gonna be a teacher and a cross country and track coach and go down that path. Turned out I ended up maybe doing a little teaching on YouTube, but I geek out when I can learn about the history of naming the 14,000 foot mountains here in Colorado. This is unbelievable. Thank you so, this might be my favorite thing to ever show up at the P.O. Box. Okay, next up, okay. Oh, this is the coffee. This is what I smelled the other day. Uh, Koru Perf Performance, fresh roasted, spelled K-O-R-U. There it is, fresh roasted. St from Honduras, thank you, Koru. I will link to all these companies down below in the description. So if you're interested in learning more about this coffee, okay, let's go here. Let's see, oh my goodness. Okay, Baxter's Coffee, link down below. This coffee delivers a spicy flavor with a fair amount of acidity. Baxter's Coffee, shout out below. I'll link to their website down below. So good. Established in 2001. So, so great. There it is. I think it's fair to say the word is out. The word is officially out. Let's see here. We got peanuts from Steve and Dua down in uh, Durango. Hey Seth, shoes are from Dua for your giveaway. Book is from me for your bedtime stories with the boys. It was one of Dua's favorites. That is awesome. Oh, hold on. Yes. Oh, Louis uh, Tawanema, Born to Run. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. A book to read to the boys. I'll try to read this to them tonight. Thank you so much. Oh, awesome. Thank you guys. You guys, you guys rock. DGR Strong. So part of this, so part of this next meeting in Union Station is actually connected to SOS and our, our running shoe giveaway. So thank you for sending shoes. It's a process. Big, I'll just say changes coming in the next couple of months. So anyway, all right, I'll see you in about one hour. Or if I can get out of my car. Okay, there we go. You're amazing, thank you, if that's okay. Let's go, let's go. Okay, Ooh, it is chilly. You know what, here, here we go, oh man. Butter, butter, butter. Comment of the day, going out to, we'll, we'll open it here one second. Comment of the day, going out to Robert down under. He says, evening Seth, your vlog drops at 9 p.m. 
I, you know, I knew it was a different time of day. Thank you for that insight. That helps. I don't know if that's a great time for the vlog to publish in Australia, but thank you for watching from Australia, Robert. Uh, he says in Victoria, so that's good. So good evening, everyone. Seth, your video craft is amazing. I just love your panoramas and use of the drone. Thank you, sir. Question of the day, my first job at the age of 13 was working weekends for a landscape gardener. The work was hard and a huge shock to my system. I would come home Saturdays and Sunday nights completely spent. I can, landscaping, yard work, very taxing. Um, yeah, I'll leave a story for another day. I lasted a few months, but when blisters on my hands became infected, I gave them my notice. Keep up the fantastic work. Your vlogs always put me in a great frame of mind and motivate me to keep turning that doorknob every day. Thanks for everything you do, Seth. Oh, come on, Robert. You motivate me, and hopefully I give a little bit of that back to all of you through the camera. Okay, um, yes, here we go. Let's open it up. I think there was something else I was gonna say, but we will save it for another time. Okay, the mystery box. I got a very cryptic, not cryptic, kind of cryptic email about this. I believe it's this box. With uh, This is not from a running shoe company. This is not from a running shoe rep who represents a running shoe company. I did not buy this shoe. This is not from Running Warehouse. I don't know what's inside this box, but I got an email saying there was a box on the way that I would be very intrigued by, very interested in what's inside. And I think it's this one. Okay, mm, ready. Here we go. Should I close my eyes? All right, I'm gonna close my eyes actually. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you, are seeing, you're seeing the box before I am. Okay, what is it, what is it? Hmm, I don't know. All right, I, I, oh, should I even open it? Okay, let's do it. Oh, my. Oh, not quite what I expect. Oh, no? All right, I don't know. It feels like a trail, mm -hmm. All right, here we go. One, two, and three. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, that's insane. I don't know. All right, this is, wow. This is crazy. Oh. So a couple of weeks ago, we talked about Ryan's, Ryan Hall, the American record holder for the marathon and half marathon, I do believe. Um, this was the shoe he wore to set the marathon record in Boston. This is the Asics Gel Hyperspeed 4. This is throwback. This is old school. This is going to be framed and put on a wall somewhere. This is a collector's item. Wow. I'm, okay, I don't know Ryan Hall personally, but I know people who know Ryan Hall. I wonder if he would sign a pair for me. This says size 7. This is a half size down from me. This is insane. You know who you are who sent this to me. Totally did not expect. How did this, how did they have this shoe? The shoe is almost a decade old, I think, roughly. Oh my, my, the, it's so old school. I mean, talk about beating up your legs. That's probably why he retired early is because this midsole is not much going on in here. So exciting. Thank you for picking it out. This, okay. Not what I expected. That is awesome. Oh man. Okay, everyone. I, it felt, it kind of felt like a trail shoe, but it's a road shoe. I love you. Question of the day. Best surprise gift you've ever received. This might be up there in my top, I'll say probably top 10. I'd say a top 10 of my life. Best a surprise gift ever. Mine is actually a go-kart when I was like, 10 years old. I got a go-kart. It was amazing, but love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Buttering that bread out there. Keep it rolling, and we will toss it to... I don't even know. I At this point, I... I some You know, another unboxing video from yesteryear. Another unboxing video right there, right there, right there. Alright. See beauty. Work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.